Good morning, friends. Last week, we started looking at what is God's will for my life. And today, I want to continue to answer this question by reading a couple of verses out of 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 3 to 8. We find ourselves reading about God's will. God's will is for you to be holy. So stay away from all sexual sin. Then each of you will control his own body and live in holiness and honor, not in lustful passion like the pagans who do not know God and his ways. Never harm or cheat a Christian brother in this matter by violating his wife. For the Lord avenges all such sins, as we have solemnly warned you before. God has called us to live holy lives, not impure lives. Therefore, anyone who refuses to live by these rules is not disobeying human teaching, but is rejecting God, who gives us His Holy Spirit to you. Now, friends, Paul is writing this letter to, you, to the people in Thessalonica. And they had very low sexual moral values. But to be honest, when we look in the world today, we have very low sexual moral values. And if we look at just one topic, pornography, it's something that is, that is universally devastating. And it does not exclude Christians. And this is revolting to God. It's someone's daughter. It's someone's wife. It's someone's son that you are looking at. If you find yourself. How does your Netflix account look like? What do you view on YouTube? Is this things that is good for you and honoring to God? Or is it not? And what are you doing about it? Is it possible that we've become so dull to what the media and the world is feeding us that we don't recognize anymore what's going on? Just the other day we watched a, a 13 rated movie and I was shocked. Do you see the images that they found even uh, suitable for children of the age of 30? Friends, where do you find yourself? What are you thinking? What are you saying? What are you looking at? And what do you do? God is busy with us to make us holy. And many times we are so busy enjoying the things that we think are good for us that we ignore it when Holy Spirit tells us to stop it, to turn our backs, to run from it. Maybe this morning is a wake-up call. And I want us just for a moment to sit and say, Lord, come and reveal in me if there's anything that is offensive to you, Lord. Anything that is not holy. And when Holy Spirit does reveal that, let's do something about it. If it means deleting an account, delete it. If it means turning your back and running, do that. But come before God and say, Lord, I realize now that this is not good for me and it's not, it does not bring glory to your name. God is gracious and kind and he forgives. Then, with the help of Holy Spirit, keep your eyes focused on Jesus and walk in victorious ways. If you do find yourself struggling Find someone that you can be accountable to, that you can look in the eye and ask for help. It's not a shame to do that. Friends, let us not be the ones that hinders God in the work He's doing in us. 
Let's pray. Lord God, thank you for this day. Thank you for your word and thank you that it's good for teaching and re re uh, rebuking and reprimanding us, Lord. Lord, and I pray that this call, your will for us is to be holy. That you will come and speak to each one of our hearts, Lord, and show it was what it means to be holy, Lord. Lord, I pray if there's any sexual sin in our lives, Lord, Lord, that we'll be able to, re to repent and to confess of that, Lord, to turn our back, Lord, and to walk in ways that it's good for us and that's glorifying to your name, Lord. Lord, I pray that you will give us people to be accountable to, Lord. Lord, and that we will not brush this issue off, Lord, but that we will seriously look into our own hearts and lives, Lord. Lord, and that we will not be the ones that hinders you in the sanctifying work you are doing in our lives, Lord. I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, have a good week. Bye-bye.